Good morning. Glad you could join us for our Strong and Sturdy podcast this morning. Hope you're having a great week so far. Happy through the week again. Uh, Wednesday night. Love to see you tonight, 7 o'clock. Uh, be where you're supposed to be in church and see what God has for you. I believe a believer should be in church and be under the preaching of God's word. That's where that's part of our growth. That's how we grow as a Christian. Yes, your personal walk with God is vital. Yes, your prayer time is vital. And church is also vital. And uh, you can be a Christian and not go to church, but you're not going to be a great Christian and not go to church. And uh, so I encourage you to be there tonight, 7 o'clock. Had a great weekend and a uh, surprising weekend for our uh, 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 a time change weekend. God is good, and God. We had some visitors come out, and just, just a blessing to see what God does, to see how God works. I'm going to bring to you a verse this morning. It's uh, stuck out to me when I read it. At Hebrews chapter 11, verse 15, the Bible says, "And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out." They might have had opportunity to have returned. If they were mindful, if they had uh, 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 that country on their mind, they might have been, uh, uh, they might have had opportunity. I'll say this what you think about is eventually going to determine where you go. And uh, I said before, the people you hang around determine where you go and what you think about, what you. Uh, have on your mind is going to determine your direction. The more you think about something, the more you're apt to do that. And uh, simply put, if I thought about robbing banks all the time, and I thought about that over a period of time and how I could do that and how I could get away with it and that kind of thing, it'd only be a matter of time before I uh, acted on those thoughts that I was doing that's thoughts that all that i was thinking the bible says that they were if they were mindful if they had on their mind all the time to go back to return to go back to where they came from to take away their progress and go another direction and if they would have been if they would have been mindful of that they would have opportunity over the course of time they would have been had the opportunity to go back why didn't Abraham in this instance go back? God called him uh, out of the land of, uh, uh, of Ur, of the Chaldees, and uh, said, I'm going to promise you a land. And, he's, and he led him over, see, and, uh, and this in between where uh, Lot separated and where Lot uh, is being pulled out of Sodom. God shows him land and said, this is going to be yours. This is the land of promise. If you do what I tell you to do, you follow where I tell you to go, this is going to be yours. The Bible says he was mindful of looking back. He might have said, you know what, God, I like where I am better. God, I liked where I lived better. God, I'm going to go back. I'm not going to follow through with what you have for me. I'm going to go back. Thankfully, Abraham didn't spend his time thinking about what he could have had. And uh, he thought about God's call. Now, Abraham could have disregarded God's call and said, you know what, I'm going back. But he didn't. May, uh, he may have considered to go back if for what the world had for him. He may have thought about, well, uh, uh, what if I go back? And thinking about that day after day after day may have caused him to go back. But Abraham was set. What God called him to do, that was where he was going to go. He, wa he wasn't going to allow what w could have been to cross his mind. He wasn't going to allow, well, well what, what would I had back? What would I have had back in uh, uh, in my home country. No, he didn't allow that across his mind. His mind was set on where God wanted him to go. And he was determined to go where God wanted him to go and take that promised land. A couple thoughts for you this morning, considering points, whatever the case may be, on this thought of being mindful. Being mindful. Number one, you will never attempt what God has for you if you're concerned about the world what, what, about what the world has for you. Again, you'll never attempt what God has for you if you're concerned and mindful about the, what the world has for you. If you're always looking back, 
Well, what does the world have? Yeah, this is what God has. And you sit there at your desk and you compare the two. You say, this is God. This is the world. What do I want? And if we're going to be honest, what the world has will always look more uh, 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 um, uh, 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 more in, um, attractive than what, the, what God has. Because that's not how God works. God doesn't work on what it looks like. Uh, God will bless you down the road. And the, God, the devil wants you to say, look at it and say, well, uh, look at what I have. And you may take it and say, well, this is really good. Oh, God doesn't really have anything nice. I'm going to take this. And if you're thinking always about what the world has and what the world uh, wants to give you and, and uh, what it could give to you, you're going to either not go for God at all or you're going to go for God and stop because you saw the world and what it had. And you said, I'm going to go back. I'm mindful about the world. Always in the back of your mind, you know, you serve God, you serve God. But always in the back of the mind, it says, what if I had not served God? What if I just followed what I wanted to do? What if I followed what the world has for me? What would I have today? And if that's always in the back of your mind, my friend, it's going to hinder you from doing something for God. It's going to hinder you from building that relationship with God. It's going to hinder you from uh, serving and being a help in the ministry. Why? Because you're looking back. You're being mindful of what you could have had. What you need to do is to take that mindfulness of the world and what the world has for you and throw it away. Say, it doesn't matter what the world has for me. It doesn't matter what the world could give me. It doesn't matter what the money is. It doesn't matter what I could have had uh, if, I, if I gave my life to the world. It matters I gave my life to God and that's where it is. And that's going to be the best course of action. That's going to be the best plan. I'm going to be mindful of what God wants for me, not what the world has for me. Uh, if those thoughts come across, well, what, if, what, I could have, what could I have had in the world? I'm going to throw, crumple them up and throw them in the garbage. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. And uh, the world has never had anything better for you. The world will never make your life better. So don't contemplate it. Don't bring it to mind. Abraham didn't let it come to mind. They weren't, he was said, I'm not mindful of what the world has. I've already decided to follow God and I'm not turning around. I'm not going back to earth. This is where I'm going. God promised me uh, this promised land, this land of promise. And that's where I'm going to go. There's no option to go back. I'm not mindful. Don't let the world be on your mind. Don't let what could have been be on your mind. Let God be on your mind. Let where he wants you to go. Let uh, uh, that, that direction of God's purpose be on your mind. And another thought, stop looking at the world for your happiness. What are you looking for, Christian? Now we decide to serve God. We decide to live a life for God. We decide to do what he wants us to do. And, 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 and we, we, the devil will lie to us and say, well, you're not happy. I could have had happiness for you. Now the devil will lie to you straight through his teeth. And uh, my friend, you've got to understand that, that God's happiness is the only happiness. And uh, true happiness. The devil can give you a, a, a happiness that is temporal, that will end. A drunk may feel happy uh, in the beginning, but it doesn't last. Uh, somebody on, on drugs and high may feel happy for a time, but it will end. My friend, somebody who's in fornication and sleeps around may be happy for a time, but it will end. My friend, the happiness of God doesn't end. And that God can continually give happiness when you live for Him, but you got to decide, I'm not going back. you got to decide, well, I'm not going to be mindful of where I could go for the world. What, what does the world have for me? What if I took the job that where I made a lot of money instead of serving God? Don't uh, throw those thoughts out, my friend. Don't allow them to uh, penetrate your mind. Because that eventually, over the course of time, that is where you're going to go. That's where you're going to end up. You're going to attempt what you think about. If you allow yourself to meditate and to dwell on what could have been, you're going to turn around. And my friend, I have no uh, intention of turning around. And I don't care what the world has. I don't care how much money the world can give. I don't care uh, the job that it can give or, or, or the, the uh, uh, benefits of the world, you can say. I don't care what it has to give. And I uh, decided this is where I'm going. It doesn't matter what the world can offer me. It doesn't matter what the devil can offer me. It doesn't matter what I, I can do. If, you, if, I, if I, a boss showed up today and said, you know what? I can give you $500,000 a year if you come work with me. I say, it's nothing. It's not going to make me happy the way God makes me happy. It doesn't matter. 
And uh, why? Because I haven't decided to look back. I'm not mindful of going back, and neither should you be mindful. If they had been mindful of the country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to return. My friend, don't give yourself an opportunity to turn around. And don't give yourself the opportunity to say, well, I'm going to go this direction. I'm not going to serve God anymore. You throw those opportunities away. Say, God, I'm going to serve you, and that's where it's going to sit. My friend, that happiness that God gives will be the greatest happiness that you could ever have. And uh, the, the world can't give me a wonderful family. The world can't give me a, uh, a happy family. Uh, no fighting, no bickering, uh, being able to raise kids that you enjoy to be around, having a job that I enjoy, not one that I barely get through every day. My friend, God's way is always the best way. And if you're in God's way, don't turn around. Don't change your mind. Don't be mindful of what you could have down the road. Well, or excuse me, mindful of what you could have had in the past. Well, I have. hope that's a blessing. hope that's an encouragement to you this morning. If I can be a help to you, let me know. I love to be. Again, church tonight, 7 o'clock. Love to see you there. Have a great day and God bless.